Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually one that I thought would be quite interesting to film because it's something that I'm asked about all the time whenever I'm out in public or anywhere for that matter and it's about my Sunrev Mini Maestra bag um, from the brand from the company Sunrev. This is the mini version of it, there's a medium version and then there's a larger version. But to find out if this bag is worth it and what fits in it and whatnot, if you're interested in hearing more, consider sticking around. Well, I actually got this bag about I would say maybe a year now and I actually had the bigger version of this uh, which is the Maestra uh, this is the mini version I had the bigger version in the black uh, pebbled leather for quite some time and I was using it for work and however I noticed that it was really big for my size I am 5'2 and so the bag itself seemed almost like a carry-on for me um, and even though like I was able to fit a lot in it I was also carrying a 17 inch laptop to work and with the humongous carry-on of a bag it was just too much to juggle both and so I thought since I have to use carry a laptop bag for my laptop I might as well invest in something smaller so I did end up selling the larger bag and I then went ahead and purchased this one. This is the mini version in the chestnut color. This is a all leather bag made in Italy. It's uh, from a company called Sunrev. They're, they say it's for women by women. So they made this bag uh, keeping in mind of a working woman and how a bag would be not only stylish, but also practical, honestly. There are so many bags out there, I just feel like you have to be so careful with them. This bag in particular is completely, you know, I don't know if, if you tried to, obviously if you put a Sharpie at it, it's a different story, but honestly, it's supposed to be stain resistant, scratch resistant, weather proof. Um, so if it does get caught in the rain and whatnot, there won't be any staining as opposed to like the, Vachetta from uh, Louis Vuitton. Bag. So this bag can be worn three different ways. Um, the first way is as a top handle. Um, it's, it's a really small handle or you know you can put it on your wrist like this. Uh, the second way is on your shoulder. Uh, well, actually there's more than three ways. On your shoulder as a, as a um, shoulder bag. Then you can wear it as a backpack yeah this is totally cool um, as a backpack so the straps come out in the back and they're totally adjustable as you can see there's multiple like this super adjustable to almost any height for that matter and you can wear it as a crossbody so the outside there is honestly I guess it's some people love it honestly and I've heard a lot of youtubers say they really don't like this um, system here so to, in order to get into the bag you there's a magnetic closure right here and it's honestly like it's really good quality i don't know if you can hear that but so that's that's the magnetic closure so it's it's a really strong magnet and it just goes into this this um hole right here and then you just in attach the magnet part and so it just clips right on but anyways you would have to open that and then the interior of it is a bluish grayish uh, suede material all their bags on the inside I think are of this color and of this material itself and I understand that it can get dirty but honestly there is some staining right here it seems like ink but I'm not too concerned about that I did get this bag with the intention of not having to worry too much about it. So if it gets a little marked up and whatnot, especially on the inside, I really don't care. Uh, I'm not sure a lot of people might. It might bother a lot of people. It doesn't bother me. So it is what it is. The back side of the bag has a slip pocket right here and where you can insert your phone. I do have 
my uh, this is an iPhone 12 Pro and it does fit in there however it is not gonna go all the way in it's quite snug so as you can see in the indentation here it's all the way as far as it can go right here and it's still obviously sticking out a lot but I wouldn't you know I, I do do this sometimes however um, it, it's not where to the point where your phone is totally unsafe as long as you know it's against your body and nobody's gonna just pull it out but it's not gonna fall out if that's you know what you're worried about and whatnot it that was what I was to think about in the beginning before I got this bag I'm like the phone could totally fall out but it doesn't fall out I guess it's because of the of the material of the phone even if you had a case on it some sort of silicone a uh, case, a rubber case, and you stick it in here, It the phone does not move whatsoever. So that's very convenient, honestly, to have that. Even if you like you were taking the subway, I'm sure you can put like your subway card in here and whatnot, or ID, where you have easy access to, to the item itself. So moving on to the inside of the bag, uh, when you do open the zipper, the zipper is honestly very like amazing quality zipper it's like buttery buttery smooth like there's no fuss whatsoever so now let's get into what's inside the bag as you can see i have it packed to the rim i have my zippy wallet um, i did talk about this video i'm not going to talk too much in depth about the items itself because I mean, it's it's about this bag and not these items. So if you are interested, I do have another video about these items and I'll link it below. So I have my zippy wallet in here. I have my mini pochette. And this obviously I just honestly just carry just a bunch of um, just, just my catch-all. So chapstick, uh, AirPods, a liquid lipstick, lotion, some receipts. Some feminine stuff and that's pretty much it it's just my catch-all in here then i have this humongous charger probably weighs like five pounds i don't know i could be i mean I'm, i know i exaggerate a lot but uh this is an extremely heavy charger so um amazing it can charge two devices at the same time and last forever and whatnot if you guys are interested i'll link it below then i have my key clay i have my um, license and debit in here the key attached so if i do need to just leave my bag in the car and run out i can just grab this and i have the essentials with me a first aid kit just because you never know of course Oh, and guys, this is Dollar Tree. Like, can you seriously picture this from the Dollar Tree? So you can always refill it, you know? You don't have to keep going and buying this. And it's super cute. So there's some Q-tips, uh, tweezer, scissors, some safety pens, and uh, band-aids, uh, and alcohol pads. So it's super cute. I like to keep this in the bag. Have a hand sanitizer. This is from, this is not a pill case, uh, this is from MAC and it's supposed to be obviously probably used for makeup or, or um, I don't know, lotions and whatnot, but I use it for my uh, medicine and some Tylenol at the bottom and just, it's a really cute thing, it's stackable so you could continue, add more units and it's totally customizable so it's super cute. And I have some more lipsticks. If you guys are interested, this is a uh, Kat Von D lipstick from, for actually, it's from Kat Von D. The color is Lolita. Duh. The second thing is this is from NARS. Um, this is a liquid lipstick. Lipstick. Oh God. Uh, lip stain. And the color is Save the Queen. Okay, so guys, this is the interior of the bag and it is it's quite spacious the inside the first pocket i'm going to just show you is the 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 open pocket here that has a button closure and they say that this is for like you can fit an ipad mini in here uh, i don't usually carry my ipad mini so my humongous zippy wallet goes in there 
and then I do have some space left definitely there like I can put something on top of that on top of the wallet if I wanted to then you have this huge compartment right in the center and there is a there's actually two compartments some po two pockets right here and then one more narrow one I guess for a pen right here a pen pocket right there and then two on each side of it then when you turn the back around the back around you have a zipper compartment on this side if I have some like change like if I'm at a store and I you know got change back of course I'm too lazy to open my wallet and put it where exactly it belongs and so I usually just open this up and stick it in here guys I'm not gonna pretend to be something that I'm not so I tell you like it is on this channel and I definitely am not the most organized person I wish I could be definitely I I actually kind of like uh, drive myself crazy when I don't organize things and I feel like if I did it would be much easier of course for myself but nonetheless that's not what that's not reality so that's that that's the pocket right there then the there's two other pockets on this side and as you can see um, I hope you can see this honestly but there is a pen mark like right there so you're bound to honestly like you can probably you can insert put a purse insert here in order to protect the interior because it's a really nice grayish blue suede material and it's obviously so easy to uh, scratch up and uh, mark up and whatnot if anything gets on it but um, it, obviously it's not as easily wipeable as the outside of it so you can do that but honestly because the bag is so small I don't think that's something I want to do and honestly the bag is so structured you don't need a purse insert um, for the for any other purpose besides protecting the interior of the bag and I'm not really big on that I really don't care next I think that is in here is the key hook so this is very convenient uh, to keep your keys attached to this and obviously you guys know you just throw it in here so when you are looking for your keys you're not you know going through the whole bag and your keys are attached to this i um was in love with it so much that i of course wanted one you know something like obviously like a black even though i was kind of tired of the black and i thought the browns obviously is not going to go with everything and i went ahead and actually got a second one in the gray version so this color is called the storm um but this one is in pebbled leather so they say this is a more softer leather as opposed to this one that they call the mimosa leather which is much more stiff but i don't know i don't feel that maybe it's because i've used it for some time now maybe it was stiffer when it got when i got it i didn't really pay attention to that but it's the mimosa leather if you guys are familiar with the louis vuitton epi leather uh the epi bag leather bags this is what it that's this is what that looks like so the grains are going running horizontal horizontal so and the only other difference in this bag as opposed to this is the gold and the silver hardware so this one has the silver and this one has the gold even as well as the um the hot stamping on the side here that's also in silver as opposed to this one that's in gold so the other thing actually i forgot to mention and even though i've used it so much this bag you can see the stickers are still on it um I refuse to take it off. It'll fall off when it when it wants to. I really appreciate the fact that these have feet and uh, feet and legs. Feet. Feet. Yeah. They have feet and I really really like that about the bag because I do tend to uh, put my bag down a lot. I know some people are super crazy. Uh, about that and they refuse to put their bag on the ground or on the floor I honestly will not hesitate if I have to do it I have to do it um, but so this honestly makes me feel that much better the fact that it has it has the feet so on the on this one it has the silver and the other one it has the gold 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully it answered any questions that you guys might have had regarding this bag. And if you did find it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and see you guys next time. Bye.